Hello everyone, my name is Lily. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, what is up? I hope you're having such a great day. Today I'm gonna to be filming just a little iOS 14 home screen tutorial. And the iOS 14 like update came out all over on TikTok. Everyone was doing like little tutorials and like showing off their home screen. I was like, what the heck? I need to get this right now. So we ended up downloading it that night. And I just was determined to have like the cutest home screen ever and i'm going to show you guys today how i did my ios 14 home screen and if you follow me on like instagram or anything you'd know that i hand letter and like do art anyway so i thought it was a really fun just way to kind of mix in my love for lettering and then also just making cute home screens I made all of my own like app covers and like a little background i'm actually selling them to my website so if you guys go to the description down below i'll put a little link super easy to do and you can just watch this tutorial to see how to set it up and do all of it i'm gonna scoot over so we can put the phone screen <laughs> All you'll need for this tutorial is an iPhone and then the iOS 14 update. So make sure you update your phone beforehand. It did not take super long. And then also you'll need the shortcuts app, but I believe that just comes on your phone because I did not download it and it was already there. So you should be good to go there. And then also optionally, you could download the app Widget Smith. It is free. And it's just how you add like cool widgets to your home screen. So I'll show you guys how I do all of that as well. So I'm now sharing my screen with you guys. I'm going to show you guys how I'm changing the app covers for all the apps on my home screen. So you can see my little home screen. I feel like it looks so cute. As you can see, TikTok is still like the normal just like app logo and we want to change it. You're going to open up your shortcuts app and then you're just going to press the plus sign at the top of the screen and the three little dots and you're going to type in TikTok where it says shortcut name. Okay, and then you're going to press add to home screen and then type in TikTok on the second little shortcut thingy and press that icon next to it, choose photo, and then I just have an album of all my iOS 14 things. So again, if you download my little iOS 14 app covers, then you'll also have access to all of these. So you can just literally pick whichever one. And so obviously we wanna do the TikTok graphic. So we're gonna press that one that matches their logo, but it's just kind of like more colorful and fun. And we're gonna press choose. So again, you just wanna make sure you put in your picture. It says TikTok, and then you're gonna press add. And then it says add it to home screen, but you're actually not done there. So you wanna press done at the top and you're gonna press add action. Then you're gonna type in open app and that will come up right there and you're gonna choose an app and it will show like the original TikTok app like cover and everything. And then you're gonna press done and you should be good to go. So let's go check our home screen. Yep, as you guys can see, so I, this is my setup, this is my first page, second page, and then I just like dumped all of the like apps that I use in the third one. And then what you wanna do is you just wanna slide it over. We can put it there, I think that's cute. Perfect, so then that is all done and we have added like a new logo to our app, which is honestly super easy. It kind of seems crazy when you're doing it. Like when Devin was showing me, I was like, what the heck, how am I ever gonna remember this? But I promise it's actually really fast. It does take a second to like actually change all of your apps though. Like I remember seeing on TikTok, everyone was like, it took me three hours. Like I just did this for three hours, whatever. So be prepared. It's kind of like just this fun little thing and you're gonna get sucked into it and it's honestly a blast. But so I went ahead and changed my icon then and that's how you do it for all of them. So if you wanna watch this video while you're doing it, you literally can just keep going back, you know, and watching me do it. Cause it does take a few times I think to really remember. There was a few times I missed really small steps and I would kind of notice it and you have to like kind of backtrack and like redo it. But just watch this video like that little part for each icon and then I thought I would show you guys to the widget smith stuff just because I didn't really know much about it. But as you guys can see on my home screen this is my first little page and then that is my second page and the widget smith just adds the calendar at the top of the screen and then the battery sign and then you know you can put like little pictures so that's where I put like my lettering and then the clock and then I just put like this cool gradient at the bottom of just like colors because I thought it just looked kind of fun and cool okay so what you're gonna do is open the app widget smith and so I just opened it right here and this is where you'll see all your small widgets your medium sized widgets and your large with widgets I personally think the large ones are a little bit too big so I like to stick with like the smaller medium and you can see like previous ones I've opened so I'll just show you guys um let's say here so you press small widget and then you're going to press this again and you're going to see lots of different options of what can go in there and then you'll see at the bottom some of them are locked and I personally didn't want to pay for any of them so I just stayed with the ones that were just unlocked and all that good stuff so you could put a clock in there you could put the date there's so many different things I think it's really fun you can put like photos there too the battery upcoming events 
I don't know. I just think it's like super fun. So we'll do just uh, just to show you guys, we'll do the month and date because it's just simple. And then you can pick like whatever font you want right here. We'll just do New York. Um, your tint color. Actually, what's really fun is you can do custom, and so you can just move along on here and like pick whatever custom color you want. And you can also, if you press the plus sign, save those colors, which I thought was really fun to keep all of your colors super consistent. So that's what I did with all of those ones. So we can just press that. The background color, you can do the same exact thing. So you're going to scroll down to custom, and then we could do, hmm, I feel like I just like the white. So we'll do white. And then you can put a border on it, which I thought was kind of fun too. Maybe we could do like a light pink border. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. And that is all for that one. So then boom, okay, you did that. But now you need to actually get that design on your home screen. Okay, so to add a widget to your home screen, you're just gonna hold down on the home screen and press the plus sign at the upper corner and then just type in widget smith and you'll see there's the small medium and large option so we are we made one for the small one together so i'm going to press add widget and then you're going to just press again that widget and select whatever widget you customize because you can seriously have so many so you might have to go back into the app and see which one you did and i believe we did we did number one together i think so Yep, and then it just switched to my custom little colors. And then you can also just like drag around wherever you want that widget to go. Again, this isn't one that I actually like had set up. I just wanted to show you guys how we did it together. So I am probably not gonna keep mine, so I'm gonna remove it. But I just wanted to show you guys how you can like customize it because I didn't quite realize like how many little options they had. And so I believe this is how I had mine set up. Yep, this looks right. So this is my home screen that I have. It has obviously all of the icons, which I think is super fun. And it just looks really cute. You also too, like of course you don't have to download my app icons or anything. You could just put random like little designs or pictures. Like a lot of people have had really like aesthetic cool ones and they put like iced coffee, you know, pictures or whatever on there. My one thing with that is I personally would take for, like it would take me so long to get used to that. So I wanted to still kind of maintain the icon and like logo look, but then just make it a little bit cuter with the colors or add rainbows and stars, all that good stuff. So I made just a variety of app icons. And then I also gave you guys this like gradient background in my little download that you can get. And so you really can have like the exact same home screen as me. I hope this video helped you out just to kind of understand how to change the app covers and like work with Widget Smith. Again, if you want to purchase my little logos that I illustrated and lettered, you can totally do so in the description. I'll link them for you guys and just tag me in your home screens, even if they're not with mine. Like I just want to see what you guys are doing. It's such a fun, creative little thing to do. So make sure to tag me. Follow me on Instagram at allthingslillianne. Follow my shop at shop all things Lillian. I sell this crew neck that I illustrated and lettered. It's hard to see, but it says sunset chaser and it's super cute. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Hope you're having a great day. Bye. Thanks for watching.